This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane. All right, here we are playing Lester Dunlickley on part two of the worst Super Nintendo games of all time, and let's see how this game plays right here. This game is, if you guys haven't seen it, you're going to be in for a treat. And there we got the uh, title screen, Lester the Unlikely, and uh, well, it kind of looks like Pitfall, but with a crazy looking dude right there. Look at that. Area. Let's start the game and see what we have here. This is Meat Lester, just a typical teenage, kind of geeky, kind of sleepy. And it has like a whole different storyline and everything. And there he is, walking around with like a book or a comic or something like that. And let's see what happens here. This is super ridiculous. I mean, what were they doing when they made this game? This game is, like, really nuts. Look, he falls asleep. You know, let's see what happens next. He gets loaded onto a ship. Where the hell did they come up with this idea? <laughs> this is ridiculous. And if you missed part one of, uh, Worst Super Nintendo Games of All Time, you guys might want to go check that out before you watch this. And he, oh my god, he's drowning. Look at that. And he's trying to swim back to, to shore. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, well, let's start the game. This game has a stupid story to it, I mean. So apparently he swam to this, like, island looking place right here. So that's basically the storyline to this game, and... Doesn't make any sense at all. And uh, this, just look how he walks. I mean, look at that. What the hell is that? And when he jumps, you can't even really control his jumping. He he jumps really awkward. So think of this: the the controls are kind of similar to like the game Prince of Persia, except a lot worse. You can you can also run. All right, let's see if I can grab that ledge up there. Get get that. Oh my god! You have to like stand just right to climb on that ledge. All right, what what do we have down here? Nothing. <clears throat> and uh, let's see if we can climb up here. And this game is it's a platformer. But a really, really bad platformer, as you can see here. It's, it's not good at all. And uh, if you look around, you can see that it's... Oh, look! There's... Oh, my God! He got scared of, the, of a crab. And what, what's going to happen here? Let's find out. What is that? The crab didn't even touch him, and he, like, died and crawled up into a... Like a fetus position right there. As you can see, that was really, really stupid. Alright, let's, uh, start this again. Let's jump right there, let's jump over here. Let's just keep seeing how far we can go. Oh, I died. What the hell? So you can also kick. And you can see how he kicks. I don't know if that's going to be effective at all. 
That's a pretty, pretty uh, bad kick right there. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna walk up and try to kick this. Uh... Apparently, it does work. We need to escape this island. This, this game is really bad. Look at this. I can't believe I'm playing this crap. I mean, look at this. This is insane. There could be so many other better games I could be playing right now, but... Oh, oh my god, look how he climbs on that thing. Climb it! Oh my god. I'm assuming that he's got to push that. Alright, here we go. And when he pushes it, he's like halfway on it. Which makes no sense. Alright, we made it to the end of the level. And uh, right away we got another... ...portion of the game that looks like identical. Oh no, we got spikes. Alright, so let's see if we can jump over here. Alright, so we have to back up, run. Oh my god, I landed on the spikes and I died. What the hell? Do I want to continue? No way. That game was pretty bad. That was Lester the Unlikely on Super Nintendo. Really bad. Alright, here we are playing a game called Balls 3D. 3D, 3D Balls. Oi. I don't know anything about this game, but that sounds crazy. Let's make sure that's recording. Here it is. Recording. I just want to make sure that we're getting it. Oh my god, I'm just falling on my chair again. So this is Balls 3D. And uh, according to a form, this is definitely one of the worst Super Nintendo games of all time. You can definitely hear that. It's pretty bad. Let's, uh, let's go check this out. Alright, so we got one player, two players, and just the uh, title screen and the little introduction alone looks kind of weird. And what's up with the sound effects on this game? And what's going on? Let's go into the uh, sound effects here for a second. No, I don't know what's going on in that, that music that you're playing in the background, but that doesn't sound appropriate for kids to be playing. Alright, let's play this game right now. I have never played this before. This is the first time I've actually ever played this game. And this is really weird. This is like a 3D fighting game. It's literally a 3D fighting game. And what the hell is this? Now, according, I, I read a lot of people complaining about this game, saying that it's like really bad. This is interesting. I'll give them that. Look at this. It's actually playable. I'll give it that. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's not not the greatest. It looks like shit. And that is actually pretty cool. Oh my! Oh, it looks like a some sort of fatality type thing. It, it, the music is just really weird on the. Uh, Oh, look at that. And when you win, you actually... The the, uh, the opponent, his body explodes into a bunch of balls. Now, this is, this game is... It's really, really obnoxious. As you can see here. And I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Maybe push start. 
And we got like uh, round number two here. And uh, it, it doesn't seem like a well polished game, I can tell you that. I would say this game is like, rather than really, really bad, it's more awkward than anything. And not so polished. But it's interesting. And this is actually one game I've actually never played before, so I find it to be quite interesting. See, we're having like a grapple over there. And there is a life bar on top, you can see there. Yeah, the scenery is actually look okay, they're not bad. And there we go! That is a, uh, supposedly, according to a lot of Super Nintendo gamers, a really bad game. That's uh, Balls 3D. Alright, here we are playing a game known as Mario is Missing, and that's right, a Mario game made it to the list. Top worst Super Nintendo games, according to a lot of people on a form. And at first glance, it looks like Super Mario World, but looks, you can tell that the, uh, the character animation looked a lot more clunkier. And wh what the hell is that? Mario just disappeared. And uh, we're going to have to figure out where Mario went. You have a little bit of an uh, introduction right here. It's probably one of the worst Mario games of all time. Let's uh, let's let's play it. And honestly, I never played this too much. You have Luigi right here. Now, what exactly are we supposed to do here? Okay, I'm imagining you're supposed to go inside those doors, but I'm pushing up and it's not doing anything. So right away, when you first play this game, it's like, what the hell are you supposed to do? Just running around right here, I mean, look at this. Okay, I just walked through that door. I guess you're supposed to walk through the first door. So I'm guessing that this is the first level right here. And uh, since you go through this door, you're greeted with this. And if you jump over here by accident, you pretty much have this thing right here. And I guess that thing can't kill you, so it's really weird. And this game seems like a... It doesn't seem like a, a Mario game. It, it feels kind of like a bootleg Mario game or something. Like one of those homebrew type things. And you can see that Luigi walked up that road right there, and now we're somewhere else. And who, who's this kid right here? And where are we supposed to go? Is there any like, indicator or anything? What is this? So there apparently is a city map. And you're supposed to make sense of where you are based on that map right there, if that makes any sense. And it does not make any sense at all. And that looks like uh, Princess Peach right there. Alright, let's go down here for a second. I have no idea where I just landed. And I guess you're definitely supposed to use the maps. And that is... Okay, where am I? I'm way over there. And 
this game is super confusing. Can you go inside any of these doors right here? Nope. So this guy, this gives you like a little bit of an idea of what Mario is missing looks like. And it's a really, really bad Mario game. It's not good at all. And it's highly unusual to have like a really bad Mario game on the Super Nintendo, of course, because that's their main console right there, Super Nintendo. I mean, what the hell are they thinking? They were pushing out so many Mario games back then that this and a few other like Mario Time Machine and a few other weird Mario games came out. And they're really obscure and they really, really suck. I mean, look at this. I feel like I'm playing, like, seriously one of those bootleg Mario games that released over, like, Russia or China or somewhere. Alright, that is it. Let's, uh, move on to the next game. I cannot take it anymore. Yeah, let's play a little, uh, Mighty Max, supposedly another bad game according to Super Nintendo gamers, and let's see how bad this game is. I never actually played this one myself, I don't remember playing it. Look at the uh, select screen, how big their eyes are, for, for the exception of her at the end. Her eyes are fully covered up. I guess we'll choose Mighty Max? Alright, it says Volcano. Okay. I guess that's a level right there, so let's choose that, I guess. Alright, so here we are playing. The animation on the character looks pretty good. I'll give him that. The animation on the character actually looks pretty nice. Oh my god, the jumping is insane. What the hell are they... Oh my god, look at that. I feel like I'm using a Game Genie. I have like Hyper Jump or Mega Jump on or something like that. Look at that. I died really quick. So one thing that's nice about the game is the uh, the graphics. Some of the graphics are pretty nice. Like the animations are really fluid. It's a nice little change based on what we've been seeing. All right, there is a. Uh... Oh my god, the jumping's horrible. There is like a little compass telling us where to go. I believe that we're supposed to go this way. And I died. There's like enemies everywhere. Oh, you can actually hold down your fire button and shoot like a bunch of stuff at once. That's actually pretty cool. And I don't know who that guy is, but he appears to be assisting me. Let's see if we can hold down our power button right here. Oh my god! So now we're supposed to go this way, like, what the... I'm confused. Are we able to jump down there? Oh, get up, get up! Yeah, the controls are a little tough. When it comes to jumping and crouching down. The, the weapon flies all over the place like these little balls. I think it was... Oh, I did not want to jump up there. Now I have to go back this way. Okay, now I can see why this game sucks. According to the compass, you're supposed to go in this general direction over here, I think. Wait, now it's telling me to go up. And what is this? So when you jump, you're supposed to like tap it really light in order to get up there. And you know, the jumping makes the game so unplayable that it's horrible. And uh, there's no reason to continue playing that. That is Mighty Max on the Super Nintendo. The animation looked really nice, some of the graphics looked nice, but the, the jumping was bad. 
The game over screen looks pretty cool. And it's a shame that the jumping was so bad in that game, because it could have been a, a pretty decent game if it wasn't. And uh, the last game for today's episode, Captain Novalin. And uh, this game is one of those games like, what the hell were they thinking? This is basically a game that was uh, aimed towards diabetics. And uh, it, I don't know why they would make a game like this, but it's really weird. Let's play it. Let's see if we can get past this area right here. You can see there's a bit of a storyline right here. And this, much like the last episode, we reviewed some sort of uh, surgeon game that was really weird. And hey, look, you have a doctor right here. And it's telling you to check your blood sugar four times a day. I mean, wh why would you want to play a game that reminds you to do that? I mean... It's bad enough that... See, it's bad enough that you have to deal with this uh, diabetes to begin with, and now you have to have a game shoving it in your face? I mean, come on. I mean, what the hell? Oh my god. Whoa! We're taking the insulin now. Oh my god. We have a doctor telling you exactly what to eat. Now, this game came out in the 90s, so all the uh, dietary information and all that stuff probably changed, and doctors will probably tell you something completely opposite now. It's crazy. Yeah, what, what is that thing? Is that like a milkshake, or...? It's a killer donut! Oh my god! There's a banana right there. I guess you're supposed to, like, avoid getting hit by that, and I got sick. And the, the, the buttons on this are super awkward. There appears to be a cereal bowl. Oh my god. So we got the cereal right there. What is the point of this? There's a toast. There's another killer donut, which is probably one of the most frightening thing in the world right there. That thing is scary. And it killed me. And uh, once again, it's telling you the same exact stuff over and over again. I mean, this is... Weird. I mean, uh, why would they do... I mean, apparently, back in the day when this game came out, you were prescribed this game by doctors to play. So if you had a Super Nintendo, they would actually tell you to play this game. And I don't know if there's actually a way of shooting your enemy. But you're supposed to avoid getting hit by donuts. And we're what? Oh my god, there's a big thing of cereal. It says sweets on it. There's another killer donut right there. Oh, gotta get away from him. And look how the uh, main character looks right there. Let's look at him. And there's no way of avoiding that that cereal box. And he has like these bare naked legs hanging off of him. It's just really weird. Look at that. And your character, if you let him sit there long enough, he shows off. He flexes. This is a very very horny, stupid looking character. I mean, you look at that. And apparently, we made it to the end. Okay, so apparently our blood sugar glucose is really high right now. That's not good. Alright, so now we have to... We, ha we have some apple... Oh, they look at that donut! Oh my god, that thing's scary. And there's, there's a soda right there that's walking around. I mean, this is... Crazy. Like, what the hell are they thinking? And I got hit by the donut. Oh my god. And that soda... Oh, oh! Jump over that thing. What do we have here? And there's like a trivia question. I don't know. Type 1? 
Did I get that question right? Maybe I did. Alright, so now we're... Okay, so now they're giving us like a suggestion on what to eat for uh, lunch. Okay. And the level looks exactly identical to the last level. Oh, now we got cookies. Oh my god. So things change up a little bit. Now we have a killer cookie. Whoa. This game is crazy. Oh, what is that? What was that? That's like a person. We have a soda. And apparently we have a uh, fallen to our uh, diabetic symptoms. Very, very weird game, and it's disturbing that the game actually exists. I don't know, there's something disturbing about this game. This is really weird. Why, if you're diabetic, why the hell would you want to play a game? I mean, what the hell? And uh, those are the, uh, if you, if you didn't watch part one, watch part one also. This is part one and part two, top worst Super Nintendo games of all time. If there's any more bad games down below uh, this list, then maybe I'll uh, play those next. Uh, that was by far one of the worst Super Nintendo games I've ever played. Just the concept of it was really bad. So don't forget to give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think.